I'm here at the mural behind Mesa Jewelers. Um, this is in the alley that goes from the parking garage to Main Street. Um, and we are painting a mural of wildflowers. And I'm really excited to get started. I've got my design all outlined on the wall. And I'm going to go ahead and just start painting background colors for right now. Um, and then after the background's all done, I'm going to start painting flowers. So I'm painting the yucca and the desert paintbrush, which were two of my very favorite wildflowers growing up. Um, I just love the yucca, how it's like beautiful, but yet kind of sharp and deadly, you know. I just love that. And of course, the desert paintbrush is just a beautiful flower. And, you know, the metaphor of it being a paintbrush is something that I'm going to incorporate into my mural. And so, um, we're going to have all kinds of colors coming off of the flower, like as if it were an actual paintbrush. So, I'm really excited to get started. So basically what's going to be happening is we're going to have all types of colors coming off of the desert paintbrush and um, all the colors are forming the Colorado symbol from the Colorado flag. So we have colorful Colorado streaming down off of the desert paintbrush. It's really great to see everyone's designs coming together and how the mural is taking shape. Um, everyone's made a lot of progress on it. wanted to show you guys a little bit more close up what I'm doing um, and how I blend the colors and stuff. So I'm doing each leaf, I'm doing all the colors all at once in each leaf so that I have time to blend them. And so I'm starting by just outlining it with a little bit of white. Yucca leaves kind of have some white and some yellow at the edges and some of them have kind of like a bluish stripe down the middle so I'm kind of playing that up and exaggerating that a little bit. So I'm just outlining with the white a little bit and then I'm just blending in Doing a little bit of that and then while it's still wet I'm getting yellow and I'm not washing my brush in between because I want to mix that white and yellow a little bit anyway, so there's really no point in washing it. And I'm just following that same line and just kind of blending the two colors together a little bit. Just like that. And I've got the edges done now. So now I'm going to do the blue stripe down the middle. Now I always use one of these angle brushes. This is my favorite brush. If I were stranded on a desert island, which Grand Junction in COVID land is pretty much a desert island anyway, but if I were stranded on a desert island and I could only take one kind of paintbrush with me, I would definitely take the angle brush because, you know, you can, it's just such a more natural like the way you hold it, you can get a really nice edge. And then as you pull it, if you change the angle, you can make that line thinner as you go without picking up and changing brushes. So it's definitely my favorite brush. Now I've done my blue line and then I'm gonna blend all that together with some green.
and so I'm just kind of coming down the middle and blending the, the outside edge with the middle stripe with the green. Thanks for watching.